Hey, Shalom. Yep, this is uh, part two. If um, the Spirit had me put the part one together with this one called the Lion. Uh, once again, we give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahushua, Bashim Rakakodash, the bonus of the elders and the apostles. All right, salutations to you, Akim. But continue where I left off. <clears throat> uh, oh, and that's one four four, and that's the Spirit. And I guess I could, I could harp in, um, on the, uh, regarding that as well. Matter of fact, let's go ahead. I guess that's what the Spirit um, got me want to do. And we got Romans right before us, the ninth chapter. And I just seen, um, I'm looking at 144 right now. And um, as you can see, Romans, the ninth chapter, uh, the third verse, and the fifth, through the fifth verse, it says, For I could wish myself, and we know this by here, I'm driving, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to paraphrase it. And you can read it yourself. It says, if I could wish that, that myself were a curse uh, for my shot, uh, my brother and my kinsmen according to the flesh, who are Israelites. All right. You know, it says, who are Israelites? All right. And the elect, when you're talking to the elect, when you're talking that number 144K, that number that does not delay, when you're speaking about these people, you have to consider and understand that they are Israelites. All right, now 12,000 12, from each tribe. All right, and that's how you get that beautiful 144,000 number. All right, 12 tribe, excuse me, 12,000 from each tribe. All right, and, and when you continue to read, it says, Who are Israelites? And like I said, I'm driving, so I'm paraphrasing. It says who pertain in the covenants, the the promises, the laws, the or the giving of the law. All right, you know Yahweh Shah, his sacrifice, the promises, service of God, the adoption, the glory. <laughs> and that's pertaining to the Israelites, according to how the, as you can see in the first vo the first verse. Pardon me. It says, whose are the fathers and whom concerning the flesh, the Messiah, Mashiach, Yahweh, whom the flesh, the Messiah came. So the Messiah came 2000 years ago for the sake of the nation of Israel and most specifically for the sake of the elect. All right. And even Paul himself said, I endure all things for the elect's sake. Hmm. <clears throat> For the elect's sake. But the thing about the elect, you know, the, the thing about the elect, the elect have to maintain their character. The elect, the elect have to keep keep their garments white. Alright, that's what's that's what the election about. The election is about separation. Alright, the election is about uh, sanctification, to be most specifically. Or more specifically, it's about sanct um, sanctification. All right, and when you're dealing with something sanctified, which the base word, or excuse me, the um, uh, just a brief synopsis of something that's sanctified is something that is separate or divided. But when you go into it uh, more intensively and deeply, especially when you're dealing with uh, it regarding the uh, application of how the elect are and compares to other people uh, it also means sanctification also goes into something that is exalted something that is uh, yes separate but uh, superior superior and separate alright and you know you, that's what you get in the Latin sacra sacra um and when you go into the Hebrew, the term um, kodash or kwadawash, all right, which kodash or kwadawash, you understand, means, uh, pardon me, making sure. All right, so yeah, kwadash. Uh, 
a quarter watch going into the same thing that I've been saying, meaning um, set apart, separate. Holy means holy. And also, the scripture speaks about, since we're talking about the elect, since we're talking about holy, well, you, well let's consider the term... Um, pardon me. Let's, let's consider uh, the scripture... Uh, I believe it's also in Corinthians, if I'm not mistaken. It, it said the elect will be will have uh, an all holy conversation. All right. <sighs> all right. Now, when you're dealing with that holy conversation, is going into uh, agias anastrophe, which it, it means upright conduct. All right, or sanctified uh, manners. All right, upright manners. That's what it's going into. All right, let me make sure I'm, um, should I get, I'm, like I said, I'm driving, so I'm making sure I'm going through the proper crevices in the city. There's one wrong turn, you'll be out. You know, throw you fucking 10, 15 minutes off track. Uh, but um, oh, and that's the spirit of things. One one wrong turn in the spirit, all right. One left turn when you're supposed to turn right can leave you in a detrimental situation. So you have to what? You have to be a watchman. You know, you have to be focused. You have to be circumspect. You understand? Let me see. Let me see. Should I go? Yeah. You understand? You have to be circumspect. All right. Which I'm about to... Pardon me. Like I said, I'm just trying to make sure I, I move correctly. Um, but yeah, you have to be... Uh, and and that starts with self-examination. That's why it says in the book of Corinthians, uh, examine yourself or whether or not you be in the faith. All right. Prove your own self. <laughs> you know? Prove your own self. You know? That's, that's important that we do. Because right now, it's better to examine... I put it like this. It's, it's better to examine yourself now. You understand? It's better to consider and examine yourself now than to be examined and judged by the Heavenly Father and chastised and destroyed. You know, you don't want you don't want that. We don't want that. Alright. So right now is the time for us to make sure we, you know, you know, all of the X's and O's, all the P's and Q's are taken care of through the spirit of things. Alright. So uh Today I'm gonna give all praises, honor, glory, and worship to Yahweh Bahashim Yahusha, Bahashim Rukhakudash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. All right, salutations to Yakim. Shalom and keep the faith.